Hey everyone, welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So I am very excited for today's video and that's because one of you lot let me know about two brand new pets that can be found in Terraria 1.4.4. Now both of these were intentionally left off of the patch notes and that's because they're a surprise, they're a secret and spoilers ahead, they're part of an unannounced crossover with Stardew Valley. And if you know me, you know I love Stardew Valley. Now, with both of these pets, I do know how to obtain them, but I've yet to actually see them. I don't know what the pets are, so I'm very excited. Now, for the first one, you're gonna wanna fish up some Joja Cola. That's right. And much like it is in Stardew Valley, it's trash. So the easiest way to get this, and I got this after two fish pulls, you know? I don't know what the term is. Two hooks, two baits. Make a small pond. That's the easiest way to get trash. About this size, actually. And then what you want to make sure is your fishing level is not too high. So the easiest way to make sure you guarantee this is get a wooden fishing pole, get some worms, and if you're late in the game, get a sonar potion because it makes it easy, right? So I will say the easiest way to know you've done this correctly is if your character is actually pulling up other trash. Stuff like old shoes, tin cans, like anything that's usually considered garbage. If you're getting garbage, well, you can get a Joja Cola. Now, apparently the next thing we need to do is take the Joja Cola to a dryad. And I'm not exactly sure how this works. Like, will we need to buy purification powder? Let's find out. What's that you have? Joja Cola? Please, hold it out. Show me. All right, seems like the, the dryad is a bit of a fan. So I'm guessing we hold it and talk. Yeah, okay. This unnatural beverage you hold has a connection to another world. I can try to purify it if you like. All right, uh, purify. I'm sensing a pure spirit through the connection. It wants to thank you for disposing of Joja Cola. Whoa, look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you actually got a little glimpse of Stardew Valley. No way. And you get a little Junimo. Oh, that's cool. So you get the, the star drop. Summons a Junimo, a mysterious fruit from another world. The flavor is like a dream. Wow. Let's see. Oh, that is cool. That's cool. They went real fancy with that as well. Like the little portals showing up. That is, I mean, that's sick. What's it look like when it's flying? Keeper of the forest. Let's see. Oh, it's got a little helicopter head. I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. So apparently for the next one, you need to buy something from the traveling merchant. Now, I don't exactly know what I'm looking for or the requirements because the traveling merchant does sell different items through different points of progression. But what I'll do is I'll find it. And then if there's a Wikipedia about it, I'll try and read off what I know at the end because I want to go in blind. All right. So here it is. The blue chicken egg equipable summons a blue chicken. How do I know that this is the Stardew Valley pet? Well, if you've played enough Stardew Valley, you might know that you actually can buy blue chickens if you have a good enough relationship with Shane. So I am pretty convinced. But let me tell you, getting this egg was an actual nightmare. So on the previous world we were just on, I actually waited in a bed for two hours to get a traveling merchant to come by that was selling this egg. And then I thought, Oh yeah, I need to remember to hit record. So I opened up my recording software and Terraria crashed. Now I cannot remember for the life of me the last time Terraria crashed on me. So I didn't get to buy the egg. I didn't get to show it. But then I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll hop onto journey mode. I'll increase the rate of time by 24. I'll probably get it in a couple of minutes. No, two more hours. It's been four hours. All right. Do you know how many crops I could have planted in that time? Terraria, please. But one tip I will give if you want to get this, make sure you chuck the traveling merchant's hat into some shimmer water and get that upgrade because it's going to make it faster for you. So let's have a little look at the chicken. Is it blue? It's blue and it looks glorious. The absolute symbol and icon of Stardew Valley. What does it look like when it flies? Oh, it actually flies. I mean, in a way that kind of makes a lot of sense. But I like its little pitter-patter on the floor. It's very fancy. Look at that. So the big question now is, do you think we'll see a Terraria item in Stardew Valley? We know that they're working on a big update 
And just given how fancy that animation with the Dryad was, I feel like eventually one day you will see a very similar animation in Stardew Valley, but instead in the portal we'll see Terraria and something will come forth from the game. What item that will be, I have no idea. But these two pets, well, they're kind of glorious. So I just had a quick look on the Wikipedia to see if I could give you any information about when to get the egg and the percentages and all that, and I can't. It doesn't even exist on the Wikipedia yet. So I don't know if it gets updated in the future. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.